All right, everybody, Misty Williams here, founder of Healing Rosie, and I'm super excited to have a chat today with my friend Rachel over at Anne-Marie Skincare. We are going to talk about beauty during this Facebook Live, and I, this is like a theme right now in the because we've also been talking about my friend Diane's Non-Toxic Beauty Summit and um, everything related to being beautiful, how do we take care of our bodies in a non-toxic way. Get lots of great ROI for our beauty <laughs> dollars just is it's on our minds. So I'm super excited you're here, Rachel. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> well, I have been hearing about Anne Marie skincare for a while. I actually have a lot. I live in Austin. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of friends that, um, that have met you through different events all over the place and have been talking about your products. And then um, some events I've attended lately, people have been talking about Amory skincare. So it seems that you guys are making some awesome waves and, um, we are. <laughs> yes. And I give you a huge kudos and congratulations. Cause I always feel really excited when women are doing really well in our space. And especially when they're doing something that, you know, is really meaningful and matters. Like when I first started having to clean up my own, my own skincare regimen, um, looking under the cabinet in my bathroom, looking in my shower and having to say goodbye to products that I love so much that mm -hmm. spoke to me for, you know, whatever reason. Sometimes it was really challenging because there weren't so many good options available about nine years ago when my journey started. And so it's really awesome to see all the changes that are happening, especially in the beauty space with so many brands mm -hmm. being created that, you know, really help us to, um, get the beauty benefits from, products while also being safe and non-toxic. Yeah, it's, it is really exciting. I often say that I feel like yet, yeah, um, I feel that we're the pioneers and starting 10 years ago and really creating a product line at the time where there weren't anything very similar to that, very clean uh -huh. and organic and pure since day one. But I feel over the past 10 years, there's been so many brands that have come out of the woodworks creating clean, pure products. So it is really amazing to see. Yeah. Well, and I'm sure that like just the fact that there's so many in the space is really good for the space because I think it lets consumers know that there really are some awesome options out there and that they can definitely vote with their dollars for things that are going to be healthier for themselves and their family. So why don't you talk to us a little bit about your skincare line and what really <laughs> sets it apart and makes it different from other skincare lines? Yeah, I think a part of the mission is what really defines us to be very unique. I think, you know, starting with the story, Henry and Kevin Gianni, the co-founders, they started, they had a health blog 10 years ago and all of their followers were asking them what products they recommended. And so their intention wasn't, let's create a skincare line. They truly just wanted to provide a solution to people wanting clean skincare. And they happened to find a product line that they loved and partnered with the owner and brought this product line to their followers. So I think, you know, the, the kind of excitement behind those two is that they're activists and they're passionate about providing clean solutions and that creates this difference with us I think and going into our products having an urban fusion process and a really careful auditing source and all of our products going through a made safe verification process and taking that extra time in the products in the infusion and in the crafting and sustainable packaging we've kind of taken that thought process and put it into every step of our products. So, yeah. Yeah. So why don't you give us all a skin education here? Cause I was telling you before we went live that as a lay person, you know, really knowing what it, what these ingredients on the bottle even mean, like what's really good. How do we know these claims are real and not bogus of, you know, what you see in the slick ads and everything, it can kind of be intimidating to make some of these buying decisions as a consumer. So help us out. Yeah. I think when you're looking for a clean product line or you're just looking for a product line to use and something that works, you want to stick with products that are pure and you want to stick with products that are using plants and plant nutrients to make up the majority of the products, if not all of it. So using different seed oils and jojoba oil and herb infused oils, CO2 extracts, pure essential oils, and really eliminating 
the fillers and the waxes and the fragrance and the synthetics and all of those things. I think that's your first step, like when choosing a product line, making sure that it's pure in that way. Uh, and then from there, you can kind of look for organic and non-GMO and extra herbs and more extracts and more nutrients and seed oils. But I think like that first step is making sure that you're using pure plant ingredients. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why don't you talk to us a little bit about the ingredients that we find in some products that are, that really work and are effective. Like why would we spend an extra 20 or 40 <laughs> or $60 on an oil or serum? Like what, what about it is, is so fantastic and so beneficial that it's worth the upgraded pricing? Upgraded pricing. Well, I think, you know, when you look at your conventional products in the market, or a drugstore, wherever you're going, there's a lot of waters and fillers and waxes. And so thinking of what that does to your skin over time and how it's not actually adding any benefits back into your skin. And there may be, you know, I think greenwashing is a really big thing right now where they may say made with soothing chamomile or help do this. And it has this beautiful tagline. And it makes you think that that's what's inside of the product, but it actually contains, you know, it makes up only 2% of the product. And so it's not actually adding all that much back into your skin. And I think over time using these products that are just exacerbating your skin issues or drying it out or clogging the pores, it's not going to do anything great for you when you're adding in additional, you know, and I think one thing to think of with our products our oils being around the $50 price point, you really need, I don't have any pumps around me, but you really only need like one pump and you don't need a lot because it's so concentrated and so potent. So misting your face before and making sure that it's a little damp and then blending the oil on top of it. I think that that a little bit goes a long way. And so thinking of the cost analysis with using pure products and what it does long-term and then how one bottle will last you three months it's definitely worth it. And mm -hmm. you can think about it that way. Teach us a little bit about what our skin really needs. What your skin needs? Well, everyone's different. Uh, so I think, you know, thinking if our skin is dehydrated, if you, you know, pull your skin like this and it takes a minute to get back and it's missing some of that suppleness, I think that that means you're a little bit dehydrated and you first like maybe need some water and internal hydration, but also adding that external hydration. So a serum, your serums are your hydrators, and it's really going to plump your skin and it's going to add nutrients and hydration back into your skin. And then from there needing a moisturizer. And so whether you have dry skin, normal skin, oily skin, moisturizers are great for your skin and it's helping balance your oil production. So for example, if you have oily skin, you know, most people may think don't use an oil, but if you're stripping your skin, with alcohols or drying ingredients, it's going to cause your skin to overproduce oil. So making sure that you're adding an oil back on that's balancing the oil production is really beneficial for oily skin as well as mature and uh, normal combination skin. So I'm one of those rare birds that I feel like my skin is every bit as oily as it was in my twenties. Mm -hmm. If I am not careful, beauty counter has a really awesome powder that has actually <laughs> been dramatic, but it's like changed my life oh. um, because it, it really absorbed like all day long. I feel like it's absorbing the oil, but n my normal experience is after about two hours, my face is like shiny. It's, yeah. Yeah. I, I they told me that this was going to stop when I was like 35, like that I would stop having all of the oil and that I would wish for those days, but they're liars. It didn't happen. So why don't you talk to us a little bit about, um, about like the components of a good skincare regimen, you know, where would someone start if they're really interested in kind of upgrading their beauty cabinet and exploring some of your products? Yeah. So I think for oily skin types, I think having a gel cleanser would be great. Our citrus mint cleanser, and you can use that morning and night. I think making sure you're exfoliating a couple of times a week. If you're having any sort of breakout, you don't want to exfoliate over it because it'll cause bacteria to spread. Uh, but exfoliating and large pores when you have oily skin really helps with refining those. Uh, and then also after that, you would do a toning mist. So something that really locks in moisture. 
adding your serum. I think the anti-aging serum is great. We have a lot of different serums to choose from. So just thinking of what other issues you want to target, whether it's just simple hydration, it's more brightening, it's more environmental stressors, or it's kind of like the, the deluxe serum, the wild fruit serum, you'll choose your serum and then tone a little bit more. And then you'll use the herbal facial oil for oily skin, which is really great for balancing that oil production because it has more targeted oils and herbs in it that are a little bit more drying, which is great. Uh, and then from there, you can use a little bit of eye cream and then you're done. And then if you like your powder, then you can use that on top. <laughs> uh, not at night, yeah. not but at definitely night. during the day. Yeah. So most women, when they get into their forties and fifties, what are the, what are the common skin issues that you're seeing that are really frustrating to them? Yeah, I think in large pores, uh, fine lines, wrinkles, but also I think it's a really interesting thing. Women who have drier skin and more breakout prone or who are oily and don't have too much dry skin. I think there's a whole combination. I think most women, as they're getting into their forties, fifties, start tending to get more wrinkles and drier skin. Uh, I think you're lucky that you have oily skin. I think that's great. <laughs> it's keeping your skin supple. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, brightening, refining the pores, smoothing wrinkles, things like that is definitely concerns that some of our audience have. So what is really legit when it comes to the wrinkle conversation? Because I have seen wild claims from wrinkle creams. I'm, when mm. We've all seen them, you know, and yeah. it's like $250 for this wrinkle cream. And I'm just thinking, and I, I have friends that have used and I'm like, I don't, it's not really, I'm not sure what the outcome was supposed to be, but <laughs> very expensive dark cream. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how can these products really help our wrinkles? I think that's what I'm getting at. Yeah. And I think that's a good point. You know, we try not to say it's going to diminish your wrinkles. We try to like really embrace the aging process and create the wrinkles to be happy wrinkles and smile wrinkles <laughs> instead of the frowning ones. So I think like positive affirmations and using pure oils and it's over time adding that nutrients back into your skin. So it's really blending in with your skin and it's not creating deeper wrinkles. Um, I think as you create, I mean, the skincare benefits are amazing as well, but I think in terms of the esoteric and the energy, as you're creating a ritual with your process and a ritual with your skincare regimen, I think it's changing the way you view your skin and skincare, and that ultimately can change a lot of the effects of skincare as well. Um, so yeah, I think using serums are amazing. I don't, I don't want to say that they're going to change the way you look because they won't. <laughs> I think they will really just add back in that extra glow. And I think over time, if we've been using conventional products and toxic products and pesticide laden products, it's really having a play on our skin and in the food that we eat and things like that. So I think when you're switching to something with organic ingredients and pure products, it's really changing a lot about that glow and that external look that you have. I'm a huge fan of skincare. I, since I was 16, this is my claim to fame, y'all. Since I was 16 <laughs> years old, I have not missed washing my face twice a day, every single night. Since I'm 44. Love so it. I, I have a streak going here. It's, very, it's been, a, it's a 30 year streak most of washing my skin, washing my face twice a day. And it has actually paid off as I've gotten older um, for sure, because I yeah. constantly hear that I look younger than my age and I'm thanking the good Lord every day. 